Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another dish of the show. All right, so I've got another wine from Underground Cellar. Um, this was one of those, like, I bought it, and this, it might this might have been the base wine. I don't remember. Or it might have been, like, one of the other, like, wines that you could end up getting. And um, it was definitely a, a crapshoot type of thing. But I'm super interested to try this. This is definitely for you Psalms out there studying for at least anything advanced and under not testable okay uh and i highly doubt this is testable at a master exam um so let's just get right into it this is um what is the vintage on this oh 12 right in the back this is the 2012 la montecha uh godimondo cabernet franc from veneto IGT wine from Veneto, uh, Cabernet Franc. Uh, it's twenty-two dollars on. It was twenty-two dollars on Underground Cellar, and that's what I paid for it. Um, I think there was another wine. This was the base wine. There was like another wine in that deal that cost like twenty-four dollars or whatever. I don't remember what that wine was. Um, but Cabernet Franc from Italy. So. This is definitely one of those, you're just here to drink and enjoy it. You're not here to, I mean, we're going to analyze it, but this is not, this is not something to necessarily to, for a psalm, studying Italian wine to take seriously, right? It's not going to come up on an exam, at least not tasting. I mean, don't you, don't you, I heard a little, yeah. So real quick about Corvin, on my I've had this unit for what three ish years, maybe four years now. Sorry, I've had it for a while, but I have noticed that sometimes on the capsules, like the capsules fail, and it's the only thing with the capsules because we have it at work, and the capsules don't fail, not as much, but we have a newer unit. I think maybe like the seal on this unit isn't quite where it should be, so I'm just gonna try to tighten this a little bit more. Yeah, like I might, like when you initially twist it, yeah, here it goes. It, it, I hear it. It's coming out. So there's something wrong either with my unit or how I'm putting these capsules in. But yeah, that, that gas is about to go out. So basically I'm saying that I'm, I feel like I'm going through capsules way faster than I should be because I should be getting my 15 glasses and I'm not. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing. There it goes. Whatever, just throw this over there. Okay. So let's check it. Oh, uh, yeah, I already talked about that. It's cap wrong for sure. Okay, you're really annoying me right now. There. See, if it's if the if the if the capsule's done, you should feel like a little like click on like that last bit you did. I'm like, okay, that's about all you're gonna get, and then you can change the capsule. That's just I don't know. I'm getting kind of annoyed with it. So I don't know if I need to get a new one or I'll probably should try to contact them. It's like, hey, how come like my capsule seems to be like automatically just doing this like every other capsule, every third capsule. Okay, so right off, the, right off the bat, if you're a fan of what's known as pyrazine or green bell pepper <clears throat> in your wines and you, you're you drinking Cabernet Franc and you, you it's going to be there many times, then this is going to be your style. It's not too overpowering, but it's not subtle by any means. 
in other words, I like it. Um, but it's there. Um, along with a kind of a meaty quality. There's a touch of floral to it. A touch of pepper. Not just the green bell pepper, but like black pepper. Yeah. Not a lot of fruit going on, so not a fruity wine on the nose. But yeah, let's check it out. Hmm. I love this wine for $22. Yeah, but you have to like this style of wine. Like, if you don't like the style of wine, you're going to hate it. Um, so, of course, the bell pepper's there, but now you have more spices. Um, you've got more of the clove and the cinnamon. Not a whole lot of vanilla, but you've got a little more earthiness to it. you got a little more cedar box, a little tobacco, um, green tobacco. Um, touch of blackberry so dark dark fruit but it's not really prominent um the floral isn't as prominent on the on the palate as it is on the nose if it is flare it's more of a potpourri rather than like just violets um yeah this is uh this is pretty good man i, I i'm really digging this like i don't want to like dump out the rest or spit the rest like if I was gonna drink a wine the rest of the night tonight, like afterwards, which I'm not because I have some medical tests to do tomorrow. Um, so I don't wanna be loaded up on alcohol. Uh, I don't have to fast or anything. I just, you know, don't wanna be loaded up on alcohol. I would totally like crush this bottle tonight. Anyway. Mm. This wine's right up my alley. I like it a lot. Now, with that said, the green bell pepper, while I say it's not overpowering, it's not subtle. On the palate, sometimes it's a little more powerful and then, then not as powerful. So you have to like this style of wine. If you do not like this style of wine, you, I wouldn't get it. You, ha you have to go, okay, this is Cap classic Cab Franc, like Loire Chinon. Cab Franc that's going to have the pyrazine in it and they, they weren't afraid of it and they, they let it sit in there um, you have to be a, a, you have to enjoy that style if you're somebody that, like, that thinks Cabernet Franc should be a little more elegant um, uh, more floral but less green then this is not the Cab Franc for you it's good I like it all right um yeah that's gonna do it for this episode so as always click the links above to friend me up click the links below to find out more about this i know i didn't like do any research on the winery but i'm sure there's a um website i can send you to uh in, I, at least i can tell you who imports it villa italia wine so they'll have something about it and uh throw some duckets my way and we'll see everyone again next time